So I finished Something Strange and Deadly by Susan Dennard and I have mixed feelings about this book. The story is set in a Victorian era Philadelphia and there is a problem with undead people because the dead leave their graves and start walking around. And it's pretty common that a dead person does that every now and again. So they have bells in the coffins and alarm systems and everything. But lately things have gotten out of control and there are more and more dead attacking people and running around in the city and it's not really good. So that's a situation the city is in. They have the trouble of the dead people walking around so they called in help from the spirit hunters. And the problem is that they don't really trust the spirit hunters and they don't want to really support them but they want them to protect the city and that exhibition that is in Philadelphia at the moment but they don't want to really give them anything to do that. Also we have Eleanor, our main protagonist and narrator. We meet her at the beginning of the story when she's at the train station to pick up her older brother but he doesn't show. Instead, one of the dead persons comes and leaves a letter for her and that sets her searching for her brother because she's worried about him, she believes the dead people have him and all those things. And that connects her somehow to the spirit hunters and that's where the story progresses and gets started when the spirit hunters and Eleanor try to find Elijah, her bigger brother, and try to stop the dead and the necromancer who's controlling them. That should be enough about the story. Of course there's more going on than just Eleanor searching for her bigger brother. There's some sort of romance because Eleanor's mother wants to marry her off to this rich guy and she's sort of torn about that and yeah maybe maybe not. And of course there's one of the spirit hunters, he's kind of cute so she's torn in that direction. So those things going on as well. The story in itself is quite interesting. I like the premise with the exhibition halls and everything and the spirit hunters and how they are not all eager to help each other all the time but need to fight their way together. There's not instant friendship, there's not instant love and I really like that. What I didn't really like about the story was its predictability. It was so obvious from the beginning what's going to happen and who's the bad guy, who's the good guy and why are things happening. I, I don't know, maybe I just saw through it, but for me it was really obvious and really predictable, which kind of spoiled the novel a little bit. But nevertheless, the story pulled me through and I read it really fast. Also, some parts of the ending were surprising, so it's not that I completely knew what's going to happen. The ending had some surprises for me, which was good. Another thing I'm not completely convinced about is the writing. Although it is pretty good and you follow and just jump right in, it is very repetitive at points. The same phrases keep showing up again and again and again and at some point I noticed and as soon as you notice you've lost. Coming to the characters, I basically liked most of the characters. The bad guys were bad as they were meant to be and the good guys were good and they were interesting. I really liked Joseph and Daniel. I thought they were really well created and Jai or Ji, I don't know is a very interesting character and I think she'll progress a lot more in the next novel because it's a series. But there's one character I really had my problems with. I don't like Eleanor. She's driving me nuts. She was so annoying the whole time. She's always saying like, I have to do this, I can do this, I have to save them. And there's no reason why she has to save her brother. There's no reason why she can do anything. And yeah, she's always changing her mind. In one moment she's like, he's the bad guy, he just tortured my brother and he was so mean to him. And in the next moment, but when he looked like so cute then I might like him. What the hell is that all about? I, I really couldn't handle this. She was jumping between I can do this to I don't want to do this between lines sometimes. It was just one paragraph she's like yes I'm gonna do this and in the next paragraph she did the opposite. She endangered the people the whole time and then she was like mad and said like no I have to solve this, I have to deal with this and I have to be the person to yeah do it basically. And if she hadn't done all the mistakes before the problem wouldn't be there. And it's, it's towards the end it gets worse and it was just driving me nuts. I really didn't like her. I thought she was the stupidest person I've ever met. Yeah, basically Eleanor ruined the book a little bit for me. I like the story despite its predictability and I like most of the characters. They were sometimes stock figures and some of those things, but apart from Eleanor, they were 
real characters, they were believable. But Eleanor seemed like a crazy bitch who just changed her mind every other second. I know that Melissa and Sue really loved the book, so I'll see if I can attach their reviews at the end, so you get a different opinion of that. If you've read the book, or if you have any opinions about Eleanor, just let me know in comments. Just leave it spoiler-free, or warn of spoilers. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye. Something Strange and Deadly. It's by Susan Denard.